eGrow just released a brand new update to the database research tool that will make it even easier for you to find highly profitable products for your Amazon FBA business. If you'd like to learn more about the update, you can check out my previous video where I discuss the benefits of the update in more detail. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to effectively use the new version of the database research tool. Whether you are brand new to eGrow or are a seasoned veteran, this tutorial will help you get the most out of this fantastic tool. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is set up the database research tool with the appropriate filters. On the left side, you can see the list of categories that you can choose from. But if you do not have a category in mind yet, you can simply choose all departments or leave the category selection blank. Here in the middle column, I can specify numerical thresholds for many criteria, including price, estimated monthly sales, estimated monthly revenue, number of reviews, average rating, the BSR or best sellers ranking, weight, number of sellers, net revenue after fees, number of images, and listing quality score. The listing quality score is a proprietary algorithm developed by eGrow to rank the quality of a product listing on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being a high quality listing and one being a low quality listing. I could spend hours talking about different research strategies using these metrics. However, that is a more advanced topic. In today's video, I simply want to show you the functionality of the database research tool. Therefore, I will simply apply a few basic filters related to price, estimated sales, and weight. The column on the right allows us to apply some more advanced filters, including whether the product results should be standard size or oversized. You can also specify the type of seller listing each product that appears in the results. For example, you might be interested in only researching products that are being sold by other FBA sellers. Moving down, we could indicate any keywords that we want the product results to include or exclude. Now let's conduct the search. Within the product table, we can see a significant amount of relevant product information. By hovering over the image, I can see the product in greater detail. In addition, Hovering over any titles that are particularly long will allow me to see it in its entirety. Below the title, I can see any relevant brand information, as well as the ASIN and the type of seller listing the product. To view this Amazon seller's profile, I can simply click this icon. If the product is already in my product tracker, I will see the date that I first started tracking it here. If the product is not already in my product tracker and I would like to add it, I can enter a tag and the product is now included in my product tracker. Make sure to check out my tutorial on the product tracker to learn more about how to effectively use these tags. Moving to the right, we are able to see numerical information, including the specific product's BSR, price, net revenue minus fees, weight, number of sellers, reviews, listing quality score ranging from one to 10, sales per month, and revenue per month. I can see the reviews for this product by clicking the blue number in the reviews column. If I want to check out the product listing, I can scroll over the column on the far right and click the Amazon icon. To change the information shown in the product table, I can click the list icon and add or remove the metrics that I feel are most important. Also, we have the ability to export all of the information found in the product table as a CSV file, should you like to manipulate the data outside of eGrow. You also have the ability to see more numerical data and historical trends for a product by clicking on its title to open the product page. Within the product page, you can get more detailed information, including more images if the listing has any, a breakdown of the BSR, and more. Lastly, you can conduct many of the same actions from the product table here in the product page, including looking at the product listing, the seller's profile, and the product reviews page, all within Amazon. You can also add the product to your product tracker by clicking this banner. 
Now the data for this product will start to show up in my product tracker. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you have found it helpful and that now you have a better understanding of how to use the database research tool for your product research. Please make sure to comment below with any additional questions that you have about the database research tool and click subscribe so you'll be notified when future tutorials are released. See you next time.